Unlike other brass instruments, the horn does not have a water key or a spit valve on it to allow moisture to get out of the instrument. Uh, for this reason, horn players have to evacuate uh, moisture from their instruments in a little bit different way. Uh, it takes a little bit of time to do it, uh, but it's very straightforward. First of all, we're going to remove the mouthpiece, set that on a stand, on the player's lap, um, on a table nearby. Second, we're going to remove um, the tuning slide off the back. Now, it's critically important that we remember where that tuning slide was set because the instrument has been tuned. So we pull the tuning slide out. We can do the same thing with the other slides on the instrument as well for speed. Um, and now what we're going to do is rotate the instrument from the bell side to the mouthpiece. This um, is going to make it so that if you think about moisture moving through, it's going to run downhill to the mouthpiece. We want to make sure it doesn't run out the bell because then you end up with a swampy right hand. So we're going to rotate it once, twice, three times. And with three full rotations, that's enough to get the moisture out of the entire instrument as it's collected. We then take our slides, reinsert them, making sure that we put them back in the same position they were in previously, and we're set to go. Similarly, if we find that um, we hear popping noises as we play pushing down specific valves, uh, or specific rotors, we're going to find that that's a sign that there is moisture that is accumulated in um, the, valve, the valve slides themselves. We have to identify which one it is. So if I hear it in the second valve, just removing that second valve, turning it upside down, and replacing it again. Uh, this is a little trickier for the first and third slides because uh, they have the twist in them. So when we remove those, again, making sure we push down the rotor so we don't create vacuum, we want to rotate it in the direction that the moisture that is in the inside of the crook comes out. So we're going to rotate it once, twice, and we're set to go. Um, this is something that happens constantly and regularly um, with horns. We should make sure that if we hear that popping noise, it's typically a sound that there's moisture accumulating in the instrument and that we need to uh, empty that uh, spit out.